If you are someone like me who grew up with lots of negative messaging around money, specifically the belief that rich people are, so, are somehow kind of greedy or selfish, then firstly, you're not alone. And secondly, this tapping video will really help you to just let go of that belief. Now, when I was growing up, my parents, bless them, they had a really kind of negative viewpoints on people with money. Um, there was lots of bitterness there, lots of resentment, perhaps some envy as well. And sometimes, you know, these things are generational, so they most likely got a lot of their money mindsets from their own parents and just carried on that pattern, if you like. And, you know, they would say things about rich people in the village that we live. They would say things like, oh, they were born with a silver spoon in their mouths or they're stinking rich or they're rolling in it. And like, who do they think they are? They, those kinds of sayings as well. You know, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Money doesn't grow on trees. All these kind of really negative things about money that do stay with you. So whether you are aware of it or not, and hopefully you do have that awareness because you're here, um, you know, these can affect you in your business and these can make you subconsciously kind of repel money in a way or not be able to get past a certain income level or somehow believe that if you are successful in your business and the money does start rolling in, then you will somehow be a bad person because you will, you learn that rich people are greedy and selfish. So if you get money, then, oh my God, you are going to be this horrible, greedy, selfish person. So why would you even want that? <laughs> So we're going to be tapping on this belief today. The first thing we're going to do is just measure really how much that belief kind of resonates with us. So I want you to, if you feel comfortable, just close your eyes for a moment and think about that statement. Rich people are greedy and selfish. Now, I want you to rate on a scale of one to ten how true that belief feels for you. So ten is, oh my God, that belief feels so true for me. <laughs> Like, I really have this belief. I keep seeing people in the news, the super rich, the billionaires. You know, I'm so envious of them. I'm so resentful. I feel like the world is so unfair. Down to uh, zero, which is like really neutral feelings about the belief. So anywhere between one and ten on how true the belief rich people are greedy and selfish feels uh, feels to you. And then you can just make a mental note of that number or pop it in the comments for me, ideally, so that I can see how you get on. And then we're going to measure in again at the end and see how we get on. So with tapping, we always start with a lovely calming breath. So just breathing in through the nose and just hold for a moment and then just let go. You might want to just have a little kind of shake off, roll your shoulders, <laughs> just come into this lovely, calm, tapping space. Do whatever you need to do, whatever feels comfortable. Have a quick sip of tea like me <laughs> and then we'll do some tapping. OK, so tapping on the karate chop points, repeating after me. You can either say it out loud, ideally, or if you're not in a space to do that or you would prefer not to, you can just say it in your mind. Um, and I tap on one side when I'm demonstrating, but ideally tap on both sides. You'll see what I mean in a minute when I go through the points with you. So starting on the karate chop point, even though I learned somewhere along the way that rich people are greedy and selfish, or I learned that it was really greedy to ask for more of anything, I acknowledge and accept how I feel. Even though I sometimes feel upset or angry about the unfairness in the world, when it comes to money and wealth distribution, I choose to feel calm in my body. I choose to feel calm in my body. Even though this belief makes me feel like it's a kind of us and them situation and that we are divided in some way, that we're separate, that we're opposing sides, I choose to deeply and completely love, honour and accept myself. And then up to the eyebrow point. So as I said earlier, you can do both sides or just one side. It's up to you. 
Oh, this belief, rich people are greedy and selfish. Side of the eye, this is what part of me believes, even if it's just at a subconscious level. Under the eye, because somewhere along the way, I accepted that this belief was true. I accepted that rich people are greedy and selfish. And I was perhaps taught that wanting more of anything was greedy and selfish. Under the nose. And you know, sometimes it does feel like the billionaires and the super rich are quite greedy and selfish. At least that's what I'm led to believe. Chin point. Because the super rich and the billionaires just seem to keep on getting more and more money. Extortionate amounts of money. Collarbone points. And it feels like they're being selfish by just hoarding all this wealth and all these material things. The super yachts. <laughs> the properties. under the arm and they're getting away with it because money is power top of the head what chance is there for normal people in business like me to get ahead to earn more money what chance is there for people like me when there's all this selfishness in the world eyebrow points and maybe this belief rich people are greedy and selfish does have an element of truth to it side note ever watched a christmas carol <laughs> and seen ebenezer screwed <laughs> this belief must this belief must have come from somewhere side of the eye and this belief really makes me worry that there's not enough for me there's not enough for everyone in the world and there's not enough for me there's not enough money coming into my business and there's not enough for survival under the eye and that feels really scary it just sets me into feelings of lack and scarcity and fear-based thinking under the nose and then it, it does also feel like an us and them situation you have the super rich billionaires and then you have us people like me us normal people people trying to run a business chin point and it just feels really unfair collarbone point and when I feel like this, I just feel really helpless and powerless. What can little old me do about this? Under the arm. And it makes me ask all these questions like how can the super rich let everyone else just struggle? Top of the head. Why aren't the billionaires being more generous and sharing their wealth. Okay, now that we've had a bit of a rant about this kind of rich people are greedy and selfish, what we're gonna do now is just do a round of tapping where I'm just gonna talk you through basically. So I'm gonna ask you some questions. You don't have to say anything. All you have to do is just think about what I'm saying. So ideally closing your eyes, we're gonna just tap on the, on the um, eyebrow points. So just tap gently there, just close your eyes if you feel safe and comfortable to do so. Just tapping lightly on your eyebrow points. And the first thing we're gonna do is just kind of calm our body a little bit because sometimes this stuff can feel really emotionally activating. 
okay and that's because we go into this kind of survival mode this lack and scarcity and just lots of fears about there not being enough um, enough money enough resources for our safety and survival so what we're going to do is just calm our body and you can just take some breath nice deep breaths if that feels helpful to do so you can just scan down through your body see if there are any areas of discomfort or tension or any areas that just you know don't feel quite right heaviness and just let those feelings be for a moment just kind of breathing into those feelings of discomfort and then just letting them go side of the eye and I'm going to ask you some questions now the first question is how much evidence do you have for the belief rich people are greedy and selfish so let's just put together all the evidence so it might be that you did watch a Christmas Carol when you were younger <laughs> um, and you felt like rich people are really miserly and selfish and mean <laughs> um, it might be that messaging that comes down through your parents you know speaking about wealthy people in a derogatory way or uh, just saying things with bitterness or resentment and then even more recently just thinking about the news social media TV all the evidence that's out there around the fact that rich people are greedy and selfish <laughs> under the eye and now I'm going to ask you whether you know anybody who you would consider to be rich and you know your de your definition if you like of that and what are those people like Maybe you've got family members or friends that you consider to be wealthy. Thinking about your relationship with them. Just thinking about what they're like really as people, as human beings. Okay, moving to the under the nose. And I'm just going to ask you now, how would you define rich? <laughs> is it billionaire status status is it millionaire status and perhaps it's true that there are lots of different levels of wealth and at what stage of wealth do people suddenly become rich sorry people suddenly become greedy and selfish what stage of wealth do people suddenly like turn into this mean monster? <laughs> Chin point. Another question. Does money always make you mean? Does money always make people mean? Would you be meaner? <laughs> Would you be greedy and selfish? if you had lots of money if you were in a different financial position what would you be like moving to the collarbone points another question do positive stories about wealth and prosperity and sharing and generosity and philanthropy do they always make the news? Do you see lots of those stories online? Those positive money stories? And if they don't make the news so much, why might that be? Under the arm point. And if there are different levels of wealth, does that mean that actually it's not them and us? 
that there we're not divided into two it's not just the millionaires and the billionaires and then everyone else it's just us and us and us and us <laughs> lots of different layers and levels of wealth everyone at different income levels top of the head so already it seems like perhaps we can start to dismantle this belief a little bit just thinking about that evidence and that counter evidence thinking about the different levels of wealth thinking about the fact that actually there's no real division down the middle there's just different levels of income okay so back to the eyebrow point if you've had your eyes closed you can open them now We've got a couple more rounds of tapping before we finish so repeating after me i really don't want to hold on to this belief that rich people are greedy and selfish <laughs> because it feels disempowering i don't want to hold on to this belief because it feels disempowering side of the eye and I'm open to seeing more positive stories hearing about you know positive things that people with money have done you know stories about giving and generosity good things under the eye and if what you focus on expands then if I've been focusing on this belief that rich people are greedy and selfish, maybe that's what my brain has been giving attention to. It's been bringing it into my awareness for me. <laughs> Thanks brain. So I've been noticing it more and more. Under the nose. So perhaps I could just focus on a new belief focus on a belief that there are lots of different income levels focus on the belief that actually there are lots of successful men and women doing good things in the world doing really positive things with their business and with their personal wealth that is what I choose to see that is what I choose to notice chin point and there's no them and us <laughs> there is no them and us we are not divided we are not divided the media might want to create division even perhaps governments sometimes might like to create division but we're not divided collarbone points we are all human beings just doing our best for the most part we are all connected we are all con connected and most of us actually share the same value that we just want to live happy fulfilling lives under the arm and it's true that sometimes money might bring out the worst in people that could be true some of the time but likewise money can also bring out the very best in people top of the head so I can see now how this belief rich people are greedy and selfish doesn't really stand up anymore it's not really holding the same weight that it did eyebrow points and there might well be unfairness in the world but I just have to focus on what I can control in my corner of the world side of the eye and if fairness is something that's really important to me then I focus on bringing that into my life as much as possible 
fairness with my friends and my family in my business around the money I earn perhaps under the eye and whilst I might not be able to control how much billionaires earn and how much tax they pay I can control my own financial matters I can manage my own money I might not be a billionaire or a millionaire yet <laughs> but I can manage my own money under the nose and I can plan for my future wealth I can plan for how I would like to make a difference in the world what I would do with my money I can make plans for my future where I'm not some greedy selfish rich person I'm a loving and giving and caring wealthy person chin points and I can't make laws about billionaires and I can't change their tax but I can vote I can choose who I would like to be governing my country making those rules and that's all I can do collarbone points so today I'm releasing the belief that rich people are greedy and selfish I choose to release the belief I let it go and let's just take a nice deep breath here just let it go under the arm and I just create new beliefs about wealth pertaining to abundance and opportunity kindness fairness integrity integrity top of the head and I create these new beliefs and I notice or choose to notice the richness in the world the abundance all around me choose to notice those wealthy spiritual people that are really making a difference in the world with their wealth and I ask the universe to show me more of what I desire to see to show me more of this positive stuff okay so just stop tapping there for a moment just hand on your heart here for a moment just close your eyes just feel all that energy you can take a couple of deep breaths here if you want to and I just want to bring to mind a quote by Gandhi which is be the change you wish to see in the world be the change you wish to see in the world and you might not be where you want to be financially at the moment but you can make a difference in your corner of the world and it doesn't always have to revolve around money it can revolve around giving and fairness and that integrity and authenticity and knowing that when you see those wealthy people that are doing good things and that are doing really positive things with their money starting foundations making donations whatever it might be just know that if it's possible for them then why would it not be possible for you why wouldn't it be possible for you as well money is abundant in the world money is abundant in the world okay last deep breath ah oh, let it go and now we are going to check in again on that belief so thinking back to the beginning the belief rich people are selfie selfish and greedy how true does that belief feel for you now on a scale of one to ten just take a moment to check in hopefully that shifted downwards for you <laughs> 
but if not that is okay you can repeat this tapping now tapping works best the more specific you are so if you want to change up any of the words that i'm saying any of the feelings that i'm including and make it more personal that is all good what you can also do is close your eyes sometimes that can really help you to connect with those kind of subconscious beliefs and connect with what's happening in your body as well thank you for tapping with me today i'll back, be back here again next week with a new video for you so i'll see you then